Making a complex selection using Painter's Lasso tool can be pretty easy once you start using the keyboard shortcuts to add and subtract to an existing selection. I'm going to switch over to the Lasso tool here. If I click and hold, I can grab the Lasso tool, and I'm going to make a loose selection around the lizard here. Make a loose selection just around. Let's just work with part of it for this. And you can see that's not much of a exacting selection. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcuts Alt or Option on the Mac to subtract from the selection. With the Lasso tool active, I'm going to press the Alt key, start outside the marching ants or the active selection, go along closer to what I want, and again, you can see when I press the Alt key, you get a little minus sign next to the um, cursor here. So I'm going to start outside the active selection, come back around to the area that I want selected, come outside the active selection when I'm tired, and keep working along those lines. Once again, holding the Alt, you can see I've got the minus, the Alt or Option key. I can come in and refine the selection by going along the head here. Let's do another one. Alt. You get the subtract sign. I can let go of the Alt key or the Option key and take away from the selection. You can see here I've missed part. I've come inside the area that I actually want to select. So now rather than using the Alt key, I will use the Shift key. Using the Shift key you can see I get a little plus sign next to the cursor and I can start inside the selection, let go of the Shift key, and then go along the area that I want selected, come back inside the active selection, and you can see that right there I'm going to be adding to this selection. Just like that. If you want to be really precise, much more precise than that, you can actually zoom in, still using the Alt and the Shift keys to further refine your selection. And at this point I'm zoomed in to 400%, so you're going to have a pixelated edge. You don't want to go in and catch all those zaggies. But again, there I've taken too much away. I'm going to add some in. Add the Shift key. Hold the Shift key. Start inside the selection. Go along the area you want to select. Come back inside the selection. And let go. That's how you can make a very precise selection without cramping your hand. So remember, it's the Alter option to subtract from an active selection or the Shift key to add.